kind is it? A shack. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a made in Colorado. Oh, cool. Whereas these are um, a traditional style wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now you're taking the raw wool right <laughs> from here. Oh, well, I've colored it and right. washed it. So. Right. Yeah, no, it's a little bit beyond raw, right, right. Raw. But it's come from it's the It's prepared. Uh, yeah. It's come from the fiber mill here. Uh no, I uh, oh. I bought the raw fleece and colored it and Oh, okay. carded it myself. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So now you're making basically the wool or the strands. Yeah, the yarn. I'm doing the yarn. <laughs> I'm getting the terminology. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole new thing. It's just yeah. like, you know, computers have a way Right, right, and right. Stuff. But that's what it looks like when it's finished. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, it's beautiful. But so, you'll so. notice that there's two singles there applied oh, okay. together. Right? Yeah, okay, sure. Right there. Okay, yeah. So, then, so it's like a double braided. Yeah, double. Okay. So that just evens out the yarn and balances the plot. Sure. So right now I'm doing one of the singles. Oh, and okay. It'll and it'll be folded back on itself. So then you have to like go that. back through and undo it all? Or you put it on, you just take the wheel and... Yeah, mix it these, with another these wheel. These bobbins come off. Oh, okay. I have one already done at home, so then I can put the two of them together onto a third bobbin. Oh, okay. For spinning. Oh, that is very cool. So the history of these machines, they must be date back a couple hundred years. Like the, or how long have people been doing this? Well, um, in terms of uh, spinning, they found impressions of fabric on pottery going back over 10,000 years. Oh, wow. 10,000. But of course, fabric doesn't last very long, right? Right. It right. degenerates. I mean, unless you get something that's been preserved by a dry desert like in right. Peru. Oh, okay. Or, you know, parts of Afghanistan and right, that right. sort of Mesopotamia area. Or like in Germany and, and the they sometimes they were in peat bogs and they found oh, okay. fabric, right? Oh, okay. the acid content oh, okay. kept True. from degenerating. But so that in the pottery shards that they found in the Mesopotamian area, they built, they date back to around 10,000 BC. Wow. So yeah, no, we've been spinning. I mean, all the stuff that you think about right. the pharaohs and their cloths, that right. was all done by hand. Right. Columbus came to North America right. on sails that were spun right. by hand. Right. Well, to all sailors, this is quite fascinating because you know, sailors really use their uh, you know, their, uh, really use their ropes and everything. And it's so cool. But the actual wheel itself, this type okay, of wheel, yeah. with uh, hooks and right. uh, a flyer mechanism. Right. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci had um, some drawings, but he oh, never okay. actually, they don't actually know if he ever made them, but he okay. did have some in his CODIS. Um, and then in, was it 1544, someplace in Germany, some guy came up with this invention oh, okay. as well and they started it. But at, it is so at cool. the beginning, of course, it was considered not to spin as well. So you, oh. you know, <laughs> it couldn't be used for certain things. It only could be used for some things. So I see a little bit of, so up and down on the wheels, on the foot pedals, and it gets mm -hmm. the cam going around, and then the yeah, wheel spins. Yeah, it's just transferring spins. of power. Yeah, and then the, uh, it's a very uh, soothing looking sport, hey? It is very meditative. Right, right. Once you got the hand eye cord. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, to music it would be very cool if yeah. you had soft music playing. I mean, it'd be very uh, wood stove cooking and very cool. So we're here at the fall fair and watching one of the live demonstrations. Very cool. Well, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Have a great day. Oh, well, I hope to. I'm spinning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good day for me. Yeah, exactly. Thanks.